<laughs> hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana, and it is hot. And so, you know, this time of year, we get a lot of questions when it hits the 100 degree mark. How do the animals stay cool? How do they survive when it gets to be 100 degrees? Well, the great thing about animals, and really humans are no different, we have, we have special ways to expel the heat, and each animal is different. Now, of course, you guys know as humans, we, what do we do when we're hot? We sweat. So when it's hot outside, you get sweat going down your face and it's in your hair, it's kind of gross, but that's how our body cools off. Because what happens is the wind comes across and evaporates and it makes your skin feel cool. Well, did you know there are actually other animals out there that sweat as well, like horses? Believe it or not, horses sweat. So that's one way they can keep cool. The other thing, the other animal that sweat, dogs, believe it or not, sweat through the bottoms of their feet. A lot of people don't know that. Now that's the only place they sweat, so it's not the most effective way to cool down for a dog. But nonetheless, a lot of times when it's hot, you may see a dog leave footprints behind on the concrete when you're walking down the road. Kind of a cool thing to keep in mind. Now, talking about dogs, what else do dogs do when, they, when they're hot? Well, of course, like I said, they sweat through their feet, but they pant. And dogs are not the only animals that pant. Sheep pant. Birds, believe it or not, pant. A lot of times birds of prey will be sitting up on a wire or up on a tree and you'll see their beak open and their tongue kind of going really fast. That's because they're panting to cool down. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Of course, taking a dip, just like you and I like to go swimming on a hot summer day, animals will do the same thing. You'll see our bears in the water a lot here at the zoo. No different out in the wild. A lot of times they'll get out in the lakes or the ponds or what have you and cool down in the water. A lot of animals like to hide underground when it's hot. You know, a lot of people often think when it's hot, it means reptiles must be out in the sun. Not at all. Reptiles don't like it that hot either. So they'll get under rocks, they'll go into burrows like this and get underground to, of course, shield themselves from the sunlight. A lot of times you'll see a lot of uh, animals like um, prairie dogs and, and ground squirrels doing that. And last but not least, another thing a lot of animals will do is using their body to radiate heat out of their body. And there's no other great example than that than with rabbits. Those big giant ears. They do a great job of taking the blood, radiating up into the ears. That then expels the heat and cools them down. Elephants are known for this as well. They have those big flappy ears that helps to radiate the heat out of their ears. Another keep the neat thing to keep in mind. And one final one, I know I said before that I had one last one, but one final one a lot of people don't know about is a really weird thing called estivation. And what this means is it's almost like hibernation, but during the summer. A lot of animals will actually like toads and even snails when it gets really hot will go into a deep slumber, sleep away the hot weather and come out when it cools down a little bit. That way they don't dry out in the excessive heat. A lot of cool things animals do, guys. And here at the zoo, you'll see us trying our hardest to keep them cool with shade and ice bottles and everything else. But when it comes down to the end of the day, they have to rely on what they have with them to, of course, expel that heat in any way they can. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy. We'll see you at the zoo.